Can I see your right hand? Very good. Lean forward just a little bit. Very nice. Hey everyone, I want to talk to you guys about the Leica Simicron F2. I've always wanted this lens for a long time and I finally was able to get my hands on this lens at a very good price. I'm expecting this lens to be very sharp wide open from what I've been reading and I'm expecting the bokeh, the blurred background, to be very creamy and smooth. And to help us do the test today is... Sky. My name is Sky Baker. I'm originally from Guam, but now I'm living in the beautiful island of Oahu in Hawaii. So I'm here visiting and I thought, why not do one more shoot before I leave? <laughs> cool. Yeah. And you have any social media? I do. You can follow me on my Instagram and Snapchat and Twitter at Sky Baker with a V. <laughs> Be somewhere down here. Yeah, I know um, Scouts telling me earlier that the A is replaced with the V, which is upside down A. a. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, so like we'll put it on the screen and even in the description yeah. below. Um, I showed you some pictures earlier, mm -hmm. or you can look at some of them now. Okay. Um, what do you think of them so far? Ooh. You've been shooting about 15 to 20 minutes. This is like, I think this is awesome. Cool. I like how it's very vintagey. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Vintagey. I made up my own term there. <laughs> That's fine. But I feel like it really matches the vibe that I'm going for mm -hmm. and it comes together with the outfit and the scenery. So I'm really mm -hmm. excited to see the outcome of these photos. Yeah, I know you'll too. do a great job. Thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> All right. We'll continue shooting. Okay. Bye. bye. physical features of the Leica 90 Sumacron that Sky is holding. It has a pop-out hood that Sky is going to demonstrate. And it really helps if you're shooting against the sun, prevents a flare. This version is made from 1982 to 1998. Um, this is the E55 version, which means 55 millimeter for the lens filter. Uh, 1980 to 1982 is the um, 49 millimeter. This has 11 blades for the um, aperture, which gives a really smooth uh, bokeh, blurred background. It is designed by Dr. Walter Mandler, and he's really well known for developing a lot of good lens formulas, especially with the 75 1.4 uh, Sumilux. It feels great in the hands. Um, it's a very solid lens. Um, Sky even commented. It's um, pretty heavy. It's pretty heavy. <laughs> it is. It's made up. This is like some weightlifting too while you're at it. <laughs> Yeah, this is the first time she's seen uh, M240, which is um, the camera that's on now, made out of brass, handmade in Germany. And overall, I'm liking the fill of the lens. Uh, this is not the newest uh, 90mm Apple APO from Leica, which is about almost $5,000, 4000 some. This is actually affordable. You can get it on the used market for maybe about $1,200. If you're really lucky, you can get it for about $1,000. But uh, pretty much the same optical formula, and right now the pictures are pretty good so far. Last 15 20 minutes of shooting sky i've been using the live view on the back screen of the leica m240 and i demonstrated earlier on how when you would focus the leica 90 sumicron it'll do a five times zoom in of what you're focusing on and once you're in focus you'll see the red um, focus peaking lines so the let's say for example I'm focusing on sky's face and you'll see the outlining of your eyes will be red. That means that's in focus. You press the shutter button halfway down, it zooms back out, then you take the shot. And we notice that this is a more accurate way of getting sharp um, photos, meaning that the subject, the model is very sharp and the backgrounds are really creamy and blurry. It's really hard to focus uh, through the optical viewfinder inside because the focusing patch is small and at F2, the depth of field is very uh, shallow. 
and what's actually best is the EVF that I'm gonna use um, now on the um, the next uh, um, pose on on the beach. You slide it in here, okay. Mm -hmm. And uh, the good thing about this is the live view, which I threw here, is actually inside a small screen. Oh yes, yes, yes. And the advantage of that is when it's bright right now with the sun, it's not all. It's like it's hard for you to see if there's so much glare from the yeah. sun. But once you put your eye through here, it's easier. To it's see. easier. You just press the button. It's dope. It's easier to see. Yeah. So I'll be using that to focus on you. This is the shot that I envisioned mm -hmm. when I told you the kind of theme I wanted. Yeah. Yeah. It just came to life in this picture. Awesome. Yeah. Looks really good. It does. I like the sand and everything. Yeah. Oh. Your facial expressions on point, um, posing hair, everything's good. No need to retake the shot again. Yeah, I know, it's a good photo. And this is possible with the EVF, the electronic viewfinder. This is actually an Olympus brand. On eBay, you can find it used for about $150 or $200. If you want the original Leica brand, that's $550. They are basically identical, <laughs> the same. Uh, what the previous owner did is he put a black tape over the Olympus brand in the front. Um, but it's the same specs um, and inside acts as the live view where when you're focusing um, as I was did with this harsh sun, sorry harsh sun coming um, down with the sunset um, put your eye through here you can focus on the screen and you just focus on the model and when you see the focus peaking red lines it's in focus press the shutter button down halfway and take the shot and that's how you got the shot uh, right here I'm excited! <laughs> My Instagram is going to be popping now. It always is popping, so... I have James Berry's even more. photos on it though, so... Awesome. <laughs> So what I'm doing now is I'm doing the lens test using focus peaking, shooting each lens at f2 and refocusing again f2.8 and at 5.6 and I'm going to do the same thing with uh, Konica and see if the Konica can perform and if it's better value to get the Konica versus the Sumicron. Okay, so this is at 2.8 because it cannot go down lower. Okay, one, two, and 5.6. Okay, let's go see how this lens is, man. This is like a $400, $500 lens. See, the most blur this lens can mm -hmm. make is this, but the Leica, see how blurry mm -hmm. it is in the background? Mm -hmm. The cheaper lens cannot, it's mm -hmm. only like, yeah, I see it's that. a different color cast yeah, too. Yeah, it is. Oh no, this is it. So we're done with our photo shoot for today. Um, we started around five o'clock and now it's around 6.45, 6.50. Uh, sunset, as you can see uh, behind us, is already setting. Are you getting it? Oh, maybe uh, Godfrey will get the sunset um, mm -hmm. as we talk. Uh, but Sky, what do you think about the photos today, just based off what you have seen on the back of the LCD of the camera? I think the photos look very me, first of all. Mm -hmm. It doesn't take away from my features. Like some cameras, I feel like that doesn't even look like me anymore. Mm. You know what I mean? There's a term that they use too clinical, meaning it's too straightforward. It's uh, too harsh, maybe. Is that the word? I don't know. Yeah, it's it's not real. It's not mm -hmm. 3D. Yeah. It doesn't have the realistic feel to it, and I think uh, this lens does provide that 3D pop. Yeah. And it does feel you're in the picture because photographs are two dimensional, right? Exactly. Yeah. So um, you probably have more 
feeling or more 3D depth with the photos mm -hmm. from this lens. Yeah. Uh, I just, you know, just my opinion, but we'll yeah. see when we... And I'm excited to see the pictures. I think they came out pretty awesome. Uh, I think so too. Yeah. It's going to be hard to pick one. <laughs> yeah. Sky is very easy to work with. <laughs> Thank um, you. I just press the button and compose and we get good shots. All right. Please subscribe if you haven't to. And we'll put all the links for Sky's social media in the description below. Bye. Bye. All right, we are home on the computer now. I want to look at the sharpness and the bokeh of these photos. The first four photos I'm going to show you are all raw and unedited. The first photo, let's zoom in 100%. You can see the bokeh in the background is very smooth. This is shot by open at F2. But if you notice, Sky's necklace is in focus, but her face is not. Okay, let's look at the second photo. You're at 100% already. Face is on focus. Third photo. Again, necklace is on focus, but her face is not. Very shallow depth of field at 90 f2. Fourth photo. All right, I was able to hit focus on her face, and you can tell because necklace is not in focus. Very sharp lens at f2. Remember, there's no contact between the lens and the body. So the reading here at f2.8 is not accurate, but the bokeh in the background is very smooth. Love, loving this lens. And there's three reasons why um, it was hard for me to hit focus through the optical viewfinder, through the rangefinder. Uh, one, it could be that the M240 is not calibrated. Two, it could be that Sky moved a little bit slightly when I was uh, taking her picture. Or three, when I focus on her face, and then recompose, I could have moved a little bit and that would throw everything out of focus. Um, and it's very good that I was using the M240 because you're able to use live view. And with live view, uh, this picture was taken using live view. You can get very sharp accurate focus. This is at 100%, very sharp. You can see the eyelashes. Uh, again, unedited to raw photo. I did some uh, tweaking here a little bit, but I did not adjust uh, sharpness. Same, I adjusted the highlights and everything, but again, uh, sharpness is not adjusted, left it at 25. Um, but yeah, very sharp using the live view. I did use the EVF uh, for this one. Let's look at the comparison between the uh, Sumicron and the uh, Konica. Uh, this is at f2, Konica is at 2.8. Uh, background is really nice on um, both lenses actually zooming in Konica 2 is very very sharp and for the Dr. Mandler's uh, design some people call it sharp soft where it is sharp at the same time it is very soft uh, maybe this is what people refer to as the Leica glow on how um, the transition from sharpness to a uh, blurred background is really nice all right, let's compare 2.8 and 2.8. Okay, very similar. Still both sharp, but the Konica is like super sharp. All right, let's go to 5.6 and a 5.6. Zoom in 100%. There may be motion blur on the Konica because we are at ready 1 90th of a second. But zooming out 100%. Very comparable, both lenses at a 5.6. Uh, but for me, I would still go for the um, Sumicron F2 compared to the Konica at 2.8, just so I can get a more blurred background. This is not a good comparison because one of the pictures, there is motion blur, and the composition for the Konica 2.8, it's cropped too close for sky. But if both were shot at the same composition, then um, you will see more blurred background with the uh, Sumicron at f2 versus at 2.8. But still, um, because I love um, blurred backgrounds and I love uh, bokeh, again, I'll get the Sumicron f2. Right, thanks for watching this video. Give it a thumbs up if you like it, and subscribe if you haven't too.